What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm back here with another gun review video. It's basically not really, it's basically not really a gun review this time. Today I'm actually going to be showing you guys my first experience with a lever action rifle. So in case you don't know what a lever action rifle is, it's basically a gun with a lever. You basically reload it every single time, it's not automatic nor semi-automatic. You have to put the ammo inside, you have to you have to move the lever like this, back and forth, and then shoot, and then again back and forth and shoot, back and forth and shoot. It's a pretty old-fashioned model of shooting a weapon. These days it's really not used for, for that many things. Basically everyone uses automatic rifles now these days. And but actually I am still into lever action rifles. I never actually owned one. I have owned BB versions, which is basically a mimic of the actual lever action rifle where you have to pump it like this. That's basically kind of what I bought today. Today I bought a Henry H001. As I said, this is gonna be my first time shooting a lever action rifle. I never experienced one before, so this is gonna be pretty much fun for me and pretty much a brand new experience to me and I want you guys to see it with me so I can have a memory, you know. It's one of the best, it's actually one of the best lever action rifles for youth under 16 or older it is a pretty beginner gun it's pretty accurate pretty fast it's not so loud and it is doesn't have much recoil it's perfect for a youth kid that is barely starting on a lever action side of firearms so in case if you've never seen the henry h001 i'll be showing it to you guys right now and then we're going to be going outside we're going to be shooting some cool stuff here we're going to be exploding some stuff that will be pretty cool and slow-mo action i'm going to be showing you guys that all and so don't skip the video guys or exit the video, I'm actually going to be shooting it outside. So if you think this is boring, I'm just going to be talking about the gun. No, I'm actually going to go outside and shoot it. We're going to have a slow-mo camera capturing everything to shoot, uh, the cool explosions. And so here is the box of the Henry H001. It is, here it is guys, the Henry H001. It was one of the most common type of models of rifles back in the 1800s. Now it's not really used, as I said before, not many people like lever action because of the time it takes to reload every single time. But it is a beautiful, outstanding gun with a walnut stock and a pretty accurate cylindrical aiming sight. This is a perfect gun for youth, guys. This is not loud, it's pretty awesome. And it's a 22 caliber. I forgot to tell you guys it's a 22 caliber. It's not a strong caliber here we have, but it's something that will get the job done for a small rodent. I'm not saying you should go out there and kill small rodents, but this is pretty much what it is for. 15 long rifle bullets, and they can shoot up to 21 short rifle bullets. So there is two types of 22s. There's 22 short and there's 22 long. So if you're going to shoot 22 long, which is one of the most common calibers for 22, it's only going to be able to fit 15, which is pretty good. And if you're going to shoot short, 22 short, then it's going to be able to fit at least 20 to 25, I think. I'm not sure, but that's how much it fits for 22 short. I don't have any 22 short ammo at the moment, so we're gonna be shooting 22 long outside. It's it's more for so in case if you want, in case if you don't know what lever action basically is, it's basically this. That is what lever action is. You pull it to the front, then back, and then make sure it's not loaded. You shoot, and it's done. So there it is, guys. Pretty cool a gun I buy because it just looks amazing. I'm into old-fashioned guns, but so I looked. It took a while of research and good old-fashioned weapons here and of course I fell in love as soon as I saw the Henry H001. You can find it for retail price starting from $300 to $350. I bought this at Bass Pro Shops and it is legally registered. It's not a legal weapon so just so you know we're going to be using safety equipment, we're going to be taking our precautions. We're going to make sure there's no one in the surrounding where we're going to be shooting this fire. And it does kind of have some cold action back of the stock. You can cock it back and then you let it go. We can cock it fully backwards and then to put it on safe, you split it out slowly. Alright guys, we are currently outside and we're going to shoot cans over there in front of us. We're capturing in slow-mo. We have the fire extinguisher on standby and so as an adult with us. But here we have the lock on the gun, make sure we're all safe. I'm going to be unlocking it and then we're going to be loading it with point two standard and then we're going to be shooting. We have protective glasses right here. We're we wearing. Now we're just going to load it.
Coca-Cola can. Now it's time for some spray paint action. guys so here is the final damage that we left here can of beans wrapped in a target of a squirrel ended up pretty much dead with this caliber it pretty much exploded here we have the entrance wound and the and the so here's the entrance and here's the exit of the bullet as you can see that when it left it left a pretty pretty good amount of damage so that is one of the cans and the coop we pretty much left it dead completely exploded there is the entrance wound and then the exit wound the other can which was empty it was just a uh, spray paint over here didn't survive much pretty much dead as well we got another exit wound over here and the entrance over here and look how it left the ground here. Pretty outstanding job from the Henry H001. It'll be linked down below in the description in case if you are interested in this gun. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure you click the thumbs up button. And if you want more uh, videos of this gun, make sure you go ahead and click the thumbs up, as I said. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you on the next one.